Hi guys, still welcome to this channel, it's Max from the Max Creation. Are you a returning traveler? Are you exiting or returning in Tokata? As we look at the latest travel updates around Qatar, for those that will be exiting the country and those that will be entering the country, it doesn't depend, it doesn't matter where you are coming from, but this is the new procedure or this is the new rule that is coming into effect according to the Qatar Civil Aviation Authority. When we are talking about the Civil Aviation Authorities, we are looking at the Customs Department at the airport. We are now dealing, we are now talking about a situation where you are using the Immigration Department or you are using the airport to make the exit and the entry into the country. Yes, it may not be only the entry, some people may try to use the cross borders, but most of the people, most of us that are coming far away from the GCC, from what we call the GCC region or the GC region, we are using what we call the airport to make the immigration, to make the exit and the entry. But what is the latest development? The latest development, according to the Civil Aviation Authority, it has instructed all the airlines all people that are boarding from the different airlines to come to Qatar to ask the passengers to declare whatever they have. You should declare, according to the new rule, you should be declaring whatever property you have that either you are coming in Qatar or you are exiting Qatar at whatever case. If you have that amount of property that is worth 50,000 Qataria, exceeding 50,000 Qataria, and this property may be in form of what you call, it may be in form of what you call foreign currency. Let's say, for example, it is your country's currency that is exiting or equivalent to 500 Qataria, or you having gold that is amounting to 50,000 or an equivalent to 50,000 Qataria, or you having any anything that is so precious that it can amount up to that figure you have to declare it to the customs authority there is a declaration form that will be given to you that you will pick to declare that amount or that amount of cash or that amount of precious items that you have that sincerely that belong to you that's the new rule for people coming the travel uh, entry and exit travel rule that is inside Qatar right now. What does it mean to you as a traveler? Yes, it is always not very good to carry too much precious things, very expensive things with you, because they will definitely need to find out, are you the owner of those items? Then if you are not the owner of those items and you cannot prove in any way of the case, then that means they will, they will just have to face what you call the charges. What does it mean to you, a person who came to work as a security guard? A person who, who came to work as a technician? A person who, who came to work as a cleaner in Qatar? You came to work as a, what you call a trolley boy in any case. What does it mean to you? That you have to declare, you have to be very careful whatever amount of money or whatever kind of precious items that you have. For example, you may find that people that have worked here for more like for almost five years and they've not been getting uh, off or they've not got vacation to go home and this is your time to go home. You have too much hard cash with you, which is even 50,000 Qatarian or equivalent 50,000 Qatarian. So making, make sure that that amount of money, you can prove that it is, your, um, it is the money that belongs to you. You will have to prove at the airport before you exit that that amount of money belongs to you and the rightful owner of that money. You have to declare that amount, that, that, that amount of money that you have. Failure to declare that amount and you are found with that amount of money. That means that amount of money is, does not belong to you and you'll always face what you call the immigration charges or you'll face what you call the charges by the customs. That is the latest information that is available. So you should be very careful. Let's say, for example, you have your amount of money. Let's say, for example, you have 50,000 Qatar. You've been working in Qatar for five years or six years. When you go to the Forex exchange, you'll exchange that money, right? When you go to those Forex bureau, you'll get what you call a receipt. 
you will get that receipt. Then after having that receipt, you definitely attach that receipt plus declaring. It's all about declaring. It's not giving in. Let us not be scared such that we fall in trouble. It's declaring what you have. If you think, if you definitely know what you have belongs to, why do you get scared to declare it? Declare it and, and move amicably. Move safely. That is, what, that, is, that is the simplest rule that you should be following. Most of us will use some, most of you or some of us will use some other techniques of keeping money. You may have what you call Orito services to keep your money. Yes, they do give receipts. They can give you what you call a statement. If that man has been there for quite a long period of time and you happen to go to any Orito shop, let's say for uh, the customer call center, definitely they will give you a, a statement that shows you how much you've been keeping on that amount of uh, carries. And even by the time you go to withdraw that amount of money, how much was it amounting to? Is it in your possession? Definitely like that. It's like anyone who will be traveling out, for, out of the country, they will definitely need what you call your bank statement. And they will have to prove that that amount of money that you are in position of you is the amount that has stayed on your account or is on your account or has been the money especially on your account for a long period of time and it is in the position of you. That is the same thing that is happening at the airport. You have to declare. And otherwise, if you are going to carry something that is precious more of that that you think you just got to cross over, it may not be possible. Otherwise, it may be uh, confiscated at the airport and you may end up losing and still you may also end up facing what you call charges. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's always very important to get updated wherever we upload the video. See you again in the next movie. Next video is Max from the Max Creation.